uh, you know, I'm, I'm like tempted, I'm tempted to just ride along this brick wall, maybe even 10 foot fall on the right and to the left. I've been out here, but I never rode my bike out to the quote unquote island, fantasy island. I want to try to stay really quiet so you can hear the nature. Enjoy. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome back. I'm on the Rad Mini today, and uh, if you're wondering why, it's because I have an issue with my Rad Rover. So, uh, and the issue is, oh, you know what? Anyways, I forgot to bring my spare tires. That's all right. That's all right. I'll go with that. I brought everything except the spare tires. I should have brought spare tires, but. Anyways, I'll risk it. So, I got, uh, yesterday, I was working on the bike, okay? Uh, yesterday, I'm working, I'm working on something here. I'm trying to get this over on top of that. While I'm riding the bike, which isn't a good idea. Anyways, let me uh, let me get to a curb. So, I'm, I was working on the Red Rover because the front brake was getting loose, getting loose, and uh, the adjustment bracket, the adjustment for it. Um, when I last checked, I noticed that it was really um, it. Uh, Let me do this real quick here. Where was I? All right. So, so basically, I was working on the uh, bike, and uh, the calipers up in the front, they're, uh, the brakes were getting a little loose because I was, you know, I'm wearing them down. And ooh, the Red Mini has a lot of torque. Jeez, I forgot how much torque this this bike has. And it's a little bit colder today. And so, um, uh, and I, sw I did swap the suspension seat post. And uh, so on the, ride, on the Red Rover, I'm working on the, uh, on the calipers and the adjustment for it. I'll try to, I'll throw in a picture. I'll throw in a picture so you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna throw in a picture so you, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, so uh, I got the, uh, uh, everything's all loose today around here. There we go. Okay, so I throw in a picture picture of what it, what, it, what it is. Sorry. I don't have my, on the Rad Mini, I don't have a mirror for this. So, kind of running blind on the left side here. So I got to look on my left all the time. So, so I'm working on the caliper, right? Because I noticed my brakes are getting loose on, on my front brakes. It's a front caliper. And so, So uh, the last time I noticed that the uh, the brake adjustment it seemed like it seized or I couldn't I couldn't turn it anymore and I thought that was weird because I had a lot of brake pad I had a lot of brake pad okay and so I know I had more 
more room to turn the uh, brake adjustment to close it in. So, but the last time I did it, it wouldn't go any further and it wouldn't come out either. So I'm like, okay, all right, well, let's just leave it because the brakes are, are okay right now. The front brakes, they work pretty good right now. So as I'm riding, as I'm riding, okay, the brakes, woo, they're wearing down. And uh, <laughs> so I went to go adjust it this uh, yesterday after my ride, and I, I just took the caliper off and looked at the just inspected the brake the brake pads. I still have brake pads. There, there's still a lot of brake pads on them, so uh, I should probably buy more brake pads before they're all gone. But the uh, brake adjustment wouldn't turn either way, wouldn't loosen, wouldn't go in or out. So I put the brake caliper onto a vise. I took it off the bike, put it onto a vise, and uh, used my socket and the Allen, Allen socket, and I tried to turn it. It, it. it wouldn't turn more than twice full rotation either way. start turning it and it, it would just turn two rotations either way so I kept going back and forth back and forth and then I thought I was making progress because I was able to turn the socket what really happened was the Allen socket stripped the stripped the uh, the uh, the nut or the uh, adjustment nut so that thing is seized so I went online and I looked at what I could uh, what I could get. It's a Tecro Aries MD mechanical or MB or MD or MD mechanical disc brakes M300 MD dash M300. There's I couldn't find anything on Amazon. So I looked on eBay and they're selling the front for like almost 40 bucks there's another one that sold the whole the whole set the rotors front and back for $30 so that's one I ordered it's a cheaper and you get a whole set so that's what I'm gonna do okay I got the suspension seat post on good yeah I switched out the suspension seat post uh, so I'm waiting on that and that's why I'm not riding the red rover Oh, uh, what am I going to do? I, I have a different route I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to go to the... Uh, the pool is open, but it's, it's so... It is chilly today. It was like 50 early morning. When I was working on the bike, it was like uh, 60. <laughs> I was kind of cold. I had to put on like a light jacket. Anyways... Um, so, so, so what I had to do was uh, I swapped out the racks. Okay, so I got the front basket, the front bags. I swapped them out, and and on the red mini, the large basket goes in the back. I'll try to throw a picture up so you, you can kind of get an idea. And the reason the reason is the the rack is kind of messed up. It's uh, defective, I should say. The rack that that I got. Uh, one of the holes is, uh, it's, it just doesn't line up with the regular basket, so I have to put on the big basket. The big basket is the only thing that fits on the back, and the small basket has to go up in the front. And I didn't bring my the right size inner tube. The inner tube I have is for the Red Rover, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I do have slime in the tire. Slime doesn't like completely stop a flat, but it does stop small punctures, so you can ride on a small puncture and you'll be good. It's been a while since I rolled the red mini. I had to air up the tires. I'm going through this neighborhood because I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go off road because wow, this, 
this Rad Mini has a lot of torque, smaller wheels. This is the 2018 model, I believe. And uh, the controller, the controller is different. Sorry, I'm just looking around. I don't have the, I don't have the mirror on this, on the bike. So I'm gonna take mostly off-road so I don't have to interact with cars. So yeah, and yeah, I'm gonna go through here. It's, it's a nature preserve. I'm gonna cut through here, the grass is kind of tall. Hopefully there's a path for me. I'm gonna throttle it mostly. And that's what I'm gonna do here. Brakes are super tight on this. Where is that path? I think this is the path right here. Yeah, right here. Uh, okay. So I'm just standing up, I'm throttling it. This has a lot of torque, a lot of torque. It's a nice little preserve area. This, there's a guy cleaning up the lake. Nice. Okay, oh, nice. Since, uh, since I got time, let's explore. Let's explore this area a little bit. I don't have my, I'm not, wearing my frog togs or anything. I got regular tennis shoes here. I heard a weird noise. Oh, okay. I think it's my fender because my lights, I didn't take off my lights. Ah, there it is, there we go, fender. I didn't take off the light because I know it's just temporary. Uh, let's go out to the island. Let's check it out. Uh. All right. Let's, I gotta be careful, there could be alligators. Maybe some turtles. I see the lake management is here, cleaning up the lake. They do a pretty good job. As you can tell, this lake looks pretty clean. <laughs> I gotta be careful not to go over the edge. Just watch out for any alligators or turtles or stuff. I see a turtle in the water. I never, I've, I've been out here, but I never rode my bike out to the quote unquote island, fantasy island. I gotta be careful how I throttle. Ugh. All right, there you go, lakeside view. That's the part of the levee system. I guess the water flows and kind of goes out there. And uh, this guy has a little bunker on in his backyard. I don't know if you can see that, but that guy has a bunker in his backyard. Has a little golf course, like I would say 60 yard course, 60 yard hole, really small. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can move out of the way here. <laughs> I'm to the, I'm close to the edge, I don't wanna. Let me see here, oh, let me get off the bike. Yeah, you can see it right here. I got my hand on the brake so it doesn't go throttle on me that one time. That guy has a 60 yard hole in his backyard. I guess he's a golfer. Yeah, this is one of the nicer neighborhoods. So this is a lake. They don't color this lake. It's kind of really brown. This is what this is what a lake, not really a lake, it's a retention pond. Anyways, if you get on the bike here, we'll get going again. So yeah, I had to uh, swap out. I had to swap out all the uh, the basket, uh, the bag, the everything. Put it onto this bike. Again, I'll throw on a picture. So it's going to take me a while to get used to this bike again. All right. All right, let's get out of here. That was just a pleasant detour. So I'm taking the back roads because I got the Red Mini, which because of the smaller tires and the different controller, which gives in my opinion, it gives you a more, it feels like it gives you more 
more uh, more torque. Because I'm just pedaling. I'm standing up. Uh, I'm on. <laughs> I'm on first gear. Pedal assist five. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, this is the way I'm gonna go. Go down. Pedal assist three. It's pretty bumpy here. <laughs> it's grass, but it's bumpy. It's not even. It's not like a dirt trail. So it gets pretty bumpy. Keep up with the cadence there. That's the only way through. Um, there was a couple other ways, but they fenced off. Like this part's fenced, so it's hard to get. It's hard to get access here. Uh, these grips. These are the old grips. So my, my hands are already getting kind of cramped from resting on it. Oh, jeez. So enjoy the ride. It's going to be an off-road ride. I'm going to go through the, the levee system. Um, I'm going to try to take the same way that I did during the winter storm. Go through the, uh, the new construction area and then go to the uh, clubhouse from there. But I'm headed to the sports park. This will lead me straight to the sports park. Oh, these grips are slippery. I forgot. The leather grips on these are slippery with my leather gloves, of course. But anyways, I wish I had the rubber gloves. It makes me want to get another set just to put on these, but you know, anyways, I know this is just temporary until I get until I get the new brakes. So oh goodness. So yeah. That it air up the tires. The tires were a little low. It's, it's almost been. Has it been a year? I think it's been a year since I've uh, ridden the Ride Mini. So just doing a basic check on it. Had to grab everything and just uh, do this this afternoon. I think it's, it's going to be in the 70s, low 70s today. Looks like they just cut the grass here. So it's going to be in the low 70s today. And so I am wearing like tennis shoes. I am wearing compression tights, but they're my quote unquote winter compression tights. They're, they're winter compression tights because they're black. That's about it. You know, in the summer, I'll wear my summer compression tights, which are white. Um, but I am wearing my breathable pants, which is also black and just tennis shoes. I'm not gonna wear my boots. I'm not, not wearing the uh, Magellan boots, my neoprene boots, so. And it's dry enough. It's been uh, two days. I think it's been two days since uh, it rained, the last time it rained. So I'm pretty sure it's dry. And it, my yard is pretty dry, so I take it that this is also dry. Yeah, there used to be another entrance along here, but they fenced it off due to wild boar wild animals, feral hogs. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm like tempted, I'm tempted to just ride along this brick wall, you know, just because it's wide enough, it's about six inches, but you know, let me see. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Okay. I'm not going to do it because there's a fall. There's about an eight foot, maybe even ten foot fall on the right and to the left. A little bit more on this side, if you could see that. A little bit more on this side because it slopes down. So um, I'm not sure why this is. This is built here. I think originally this might have been a a way for. Uh, water to spill into the levee system, but if this levee system over here fills up, it's going to spill into the area. So I think that's why they built this wall. I'm not really sure why it's here. I'm tempted. <laughs> I've thought about it many times, just taking it and just riding on through. But you know, after so many injuries, my back, you know, my lower back issue, 
my broken hand. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> why risk? Why risk it? You know, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not that young anymore. So I'll just ride down and go up. That's the safer bet. You know. Pedal assist five, gear one. I switchly, quickly switch gears. Okay, go down to pedal assist three, gear three. So I didn't check everything, but you know it should be in con good condition. I at least check the air and the tires of this. And so, yeah. So I got a. I'm wearing just a regular shirt because I know it's going to be cool and. Uh, the body armor keeps me warm, so if it got cold, <laughs> it's not an issue. You know, last time I was here, I saw um, I saw uh, some deers. Or, I don't know, maybe they're antelopes. I don't think, I don't know, deer or antelope. Anyways. Don't know if I'm going to see any of those here out here today. Maybe catch an alligator. I saw a huge alligator. I don't know if you saw that video, but that must have been at least a 10-foot alligator. It was big. Oh, man. It's uh, riding the Red Mini. It's a rough ride because it's a smaller wheel, smaller bike. I won't say smaller, but it's definitely smaller than the Red Rover. So you feel more bumps. It's a very rough ride, but uh, it does have a better torque. I, I do notice that. That's why I got to swap out the suspension seat post, take off the regular seat post, and put the suspension seat post on this one. hot chocolate with me. I brought hot chocolate so when I do get to the clubhouse I'll have a little boost of uh, energy to take me home. Tempted to, tempted, I probably won't, but I'm tempted to go to Mario Land. Oh, Ooh, a lot of egrets flying around. Dragonflies, birds, If I go this way, I get to the levee system, but it's kind of blocked off, so I went there one time, so I know already. It's not really accessible. I can get by, but I'd rather do it on the weekend instead of the weekday, because I know on the weekend, nobody's, nobody's there. that trampoline trampoline in the trees I don't know how it got there it must have been through the hurricane or the flooding there's a little I don't know it's a man-made lake over here I don't know what it is but it's a big body of water there, there is this kind of like graveled pathway here, but it's blocked off by a tree. There's probably a lot of wildlife back here. Yeah, right here. See, there's this gravel pathway, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it eroded. That's why they put all this, all these rocks here, but it's blocked off by a tree right there. For another time. I never went out there just because it's, uh, too bushy and if I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with probably my Magellan boots my Magellan boots and uh, the frog cog if I had a choice I would get the uh, the bite snake bite resistant boots 
for the snake bite proof boots. So you can see right here. You can see right here, that's what I'm talking about. Nothing out here today. Last time I was out here, last time I was out here, uh, there was a whole bunch of ibises on that tree. I made a short on it. It's really nice. They come, they come over. They, they hang out all around here and then they flew around and then went to the, uh, that tree. Okay. My back is kind of acting up a little bit, kind of sore, but you know, I guess just got to deal with it. This is what I love about the, the cram busters, you know, wow, this, this bike has a lot of torque. <laughs> More torque than the uh, Red Rover. What I like about the Cramp is I could just slowly just, you know, throttle, control that throttle. Now there's some kids out there. They're probably smoking like weed. I bet you they're smoking a weed, 420 weed. Okay, there's these two birds. Oh, these are turkey vultures. Uh, right in front of me. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing. Uh, let me capture. Let me see if I can capture a video. These two turkey vultures just hanging out. Not sure exactly what they're doing or what they're looking for. It's kind of weird. They usually just fly away. Uh, here's another sign. No motorized vehicles. $500 penalties. Wow, fines. Huh. Good thing I have a bike. Anyways, let's get going. Now, if I remember, I, I, it's fenced, but I think there's a little spot at the edge right there where I can get by. Yeah, it's a little rough too. enough for me. Uh, okay, I'm on the lowest gear. Yeah, those are like three girls. Actually, those are three girls. Teenage, high school. Metal Sys 5, gear one. Just give me up this. Ooh. All right, I'm back. I'm back at the baseball trail, or baseball park, sports park. Not too many people. All right, so I'm gonna go this way. This is probably one of the little league, little league baseball parks they have here. I'm gonna go to the. Uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, to the outlook that I didn't have a chance to go to last time, and these are these are the um, what you might call it the uh, batting cages. It's kind of dark, but they got two of them right here. There's this, this one, and there's another one. Let me see. There's how many room is there? There's one. There's one, two. Let me see how many, how much room there is right here. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five. So five per building. So ten, ten batting cages. That's not bad. It's kind of nice actually. Mm. 
Yeah, one, two, three, four, five batting cages. I wonder how you uh, get to reserve one. I don't know, the gates are open right there. Let me just check it out. Let me check out this one. This is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five on this one as well. This one's actually open. Oh, there's two of them open. That's kind of cool. Let's head on out. Let's head on out. They're doing yard maintenance here. And then they got pitching places here. People to pitch. That's kind of nice. Okay, the, the guy's mowing the, uh, the baseball field. I'm going to get on through the levee system here. So, you know, it's spring, so they're probably getting ready for the uh, for the baseball season to happen. Where do I go? I usually come out here. There's a little area right here. Get onto the levee. Oh. This is uh, one of the bigger ones. I think this is where a high school or girls softball a little in here. Let's just five gear seven. Give me some boost. It's hard to I'm so used to the rover, so I don't know what gear or everything. It seems like this needs to be notched down. You know, if you're on pedal assist two, you could be on. You should be on three. If you're on pedal assist one, you should be on gear two, because of the torque of the wheel just gives you more torque. You don't get top speed because the wheels are so small. You know, but, but I have reached up to 30 miles an hour. That's probably the fastest I've ever gone. Maybe 32. I'm gonna take the composed granite trail there's still some people out here but not a lot not by a lot uh, I don't really like these grips are too slippery for me but anyways it is what it is into the forest again and this time I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, stop by the second outlook or the first outlook or the outlook that I didn't get a chance to go to I'm gonna go to that wow, the Red Rover or the Red Mini it's the, the model I have more torque, feels like a lot of power, smaller wheels. The wheels are even knobbier. They feel like they, they have a little bit more knobby, knobby feel to it. Or they're thicker knobs, I should say. Oh, what's this? A little twig caught up in the uh, chain along my foot. All right, here we go. Hopefully no one's here.
yeah, it's really dry out here now. Packed, packed really well. I don't think I have to worry about slipping on any mud or loose soil. Is anybody here? No, I don't think anybody's here. All right, second outlook, here I come. Let's see how everything looks. Can get in the shade here a little bit. Oh, yeah, really nice, really nice. I want to try to stay really quiet so you can hear the nature. Enjoy. I don't know if you can hear the wind blowing. All right, just like last time, I'm going to uh, throttle and I'll try to keep it quiet, although this motor, for some reason on this bike, seems to be louder. All right, I'm gonna turn the motor off. It's kind of loud. So this is just me pedaling on gear one.
I just heard some birds. So just wanted to stop by and listen to that. I'm gonna use pedal assist one to get up this hill. It's kind of steep. Or it's gonna get steeper. That was pleasant. That was very pleasant, actually. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed that a lot. Let me stop by that bench over there. We'll see what time it is. Continue with the ride. I hear a few birds. All right, I got a little bit of time, so I'll be here for a little bit. Then I'll start riding again. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. You can probably hear the airplanes as well. Please like, share, subscribe. Any new viewers out there, subscribe. You get all my content. Get all the videos. And then some. All right, let's continue on to the next video. I'll be uh, recharging the, uh, switching out the cameras. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.